afternoon everyone. Um, my name is Saralia and I belong to the Women's League in Cape Town in South Africa and I'm here to talk a little bit about what the Shinshat family in Cape Town is doing in preparation for the Father Kentenich year and specifically next week's anniversary of his, of his death, the 50th anniversary of his death. Behind me you can see the Shinstadt Shrine. This is the Shrine in Constantia, which is also known as the Wine Valley of, uh, of Cape Town. And it is one of three shrines in Cape Town and one of five shrines in South Africa. So as a family here in Cape Town, one of the things that we have been doing over the last few weeks is to pray a nine-week novena that takes us through various events in Father Kentnick's life, beginning with um, the early years of his life, uh, is the founding of the Schoenstatt movement, the years that he spent in Dachau, the graces that came out of Dachau, we looked, it looks at the exile years, the graces from, from, from Milwaukee, his return to Schoenstatt, and right now we're in week eight, and specifically we're looking at the, our founder's death, uh, following the final Mass that he celebrated uh, in the Adoration Church, the first Mass in the Adoration Church, and we're focusing on the theme of Delixit Ecclesium, where we look at how much he truly loved the Church. Um, and specifically, each day has a particular striving, and today's striving is I will bring a special contribution to the capital of grace for the renewal of someone's heart or to address a difficult situation. And so that means that after this recording, I'm going to go into the shrine and spend a few minutes in prayer, praying for renewal, praying for the renewal of the world and the renewal of someone's heart. Something else that we've done this year is one of our members who has a really deep sense of history has prepared a series of talks on the life of Father Kentnick and we're looking at various events in his life and in the life of the Schinstadt movement through the perspective of what does it mean for us today living in South Africa in 2018. Uh, leading up into next Saturday uh, we're going to be gathering here at the Shrine, the whole Shinshat family will be gathering at the Shrine to join in the live streaming of the celebrations coming out from Germany and on that day each person will also have the opportunity to write a personal letter to Father Kentenich to express how much he means to them. And finally, on the 18th of September, which is also Covenant Day, uh, the Archbishop of Cape Town will join us here at the Shrine for a large Mass to celebrate our Founder's life, to celebrate the legacy that he left us, and to, to pray for our continued strength and commitment to the Covenant of Love in the years to come. So as I conclude this short video today, I just want to share with you the ideal of the Schoenstatt family for Cape Town for this year, which is, Father, in you we renew our world. United in the covenant, hashtag Kentonic future. Bye-bye.